Hey, what's up guys? It's Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a new format combo tutorial for the Zodiac Beast deck following the March 31st, 2017 format that is going to be coming upon us within basically a week's time frame. Now, a lot of people are expecting the Zodiac Beast deck to be absolutely dead with the semi-limit of rep here, but honestly, that's not really the case. There are still a lot of good combo potentials that this deck does have access to, a lot of good resource gathering plays that you can have. It does just require you to think a little bit outside of the box in terms of what you've been seeing in the past couple of weeks with literally just rap here spam dot deck using all three copies of rap here to your advantage to just make rank fours for free while also being in to like end in your dryden plays and stuff like that but there are definitely plays that are still viable and still possible and there are still fusion substitute plays that are still possible and that is what i'm going to be showing you today i'm going to be showing you a one card fusion substitute play that ends you in a plus three overall you end with a dryden an emerald and two cards drawn off of one card, in this case, Speed Roy Terra Top. So, it's not nearly as good as the previous iteration of the combo, being, you know, you cycle through double Emerald, and you also get to uh, draw three cards instead of two, but it is still something that's very, you know, acceptable in terms of good resource gathering, because it is a plus three, and you actually want those resources with this deck now more than ever. But anyway, like I said, it's a one card play, it starts with Speed Roy Terra Top, you special summon your Terra Top, and you add and special summon your Tucka Tomborg, you overlay these into your MX Saber Invoker, your obvious starting play, and you attach a card to special summon a rat peer from your deck, your first rat peer, your first of two lonely rat peers. So then you'll overlay Borbo on top of your rat peer, and then you're going to detach your rat peer to special summon another copy of rat peer from your deck here. And then you're going to overlay the second uh, rat peer with your copy of Broad Bull. Now you're doing this so you can like gain a bunch of exceeds on your board so that you can actually, you know, use your fusion substitute to the like way you want to use it essentially uh, but zodiac broad bull you're going to detach off of that and you're going to search for your luna light black sheep glare as hell uh, but you're going to discard your black sheep and you're going to add your fusion substitute to your hand and so from here you're going to activate your fusion substitute and you're going to fuse away your borbo and your mx saber invoker into your elder entity norden and so norden from here is then going to bring back your copy of rat pierre and or any other level four that you have in grave at this point like if you had another four in grave you'd grab it back instead of rat that way you could recycle both rat peers uh, and stuff like that but that's arguably semantics at that point but you're going to overlay into your digesto emerald here and you're going to detach your norden specifically off of the emerald and you're going to shuffle back just random cards like random things that you think you're going to be able to like use like usually it's probably going to be something along the line of Taka Tomborg invoker and the second rat peer so that you can just you know get cards and draw them uh, later in the game like it doesn't necessarily really matter But you are going to be drawing a single card off of this and then you have your fusion substitute engraved that you can activate Shuffling your Norden back into the extra deck banishing the fusion substitute and then drawing another card So it's a very simple combo and then you're able to just go Straight up from here into your Dryden um, Or if you have anything like whip tails or stuff in your graveyard that you want to put under the Dryden You can go into tiger mortar Put it under the Dryden, un, put it under the Tiger Mortar, and then go into your Dryden from there. So you'll have like Whiptail under your Dryden uh, and stuff like that. But still, off of a Speedroid Terra Top, you end in a just a generic plus three. It's a pretty good like, it's a pretty good setup. It's a pretty good like way to deal with uh, to like deal with the fact that you're just out of rats for the format. And you put one rat back in deck, so you do have a rat still under your Digusto Emerald. So during your next turn, if your Emerald survives off of your resources, you're able to shuffle back more cards because your graveyard is still loaded with three monsters at this point because you started with Terra Top, you still have the Black Sheep, the Terra Top, and the uh, Borbo in your uh, graveyard. And it's obviously going to be more if you detach off of the Dryden's. Any other outlying factors are also going to increase this. All that sort of stuff. But this is just one of the combos. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos because there are different, like, there are different iterations of rat combos that you can still perform with the Zodiac Beast deck uh, that I want to just kind of show you guys because uh, I want to make them all their individual videos so they don't, like, start overlapping and getting really long and stuff like that. Uh, so that's basically just how this is going to go. But this is, uh, this is the thing that I've been messing with uh, since the ban list came out. And this is what I've found. Uh, with help, a little bit of help from others and like leading me in the right direction and stuff like that. But this is still just a generic one card plus three combo that Zeus still has access to. So let me know what you think about that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, all that nonsense. Definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the way to go. As well as it gets you into access to a monthly raffle giveaway for a high dollar card or a good amount of sealed product, whatever the flavor of the month is for that particular month. As well as possible access into my personal Discord 
Discord server to chat with me and play games with me for videos and all that sort of nonsense. It's one of the rewards here, so definitely check that out. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. All the Zodiac Beast cards that are in this video were actually provided to me by Second Chance Gaming, as they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business. Their pricing and shipping are very good from what I've experienced so far. So if you're looking to acquire cards that I played in this video, or if you're looking to acquire cards in general, then definitely be sure to check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that's it for this video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video with another Zodiac combo. <laughs>